Hi guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on Inter Server. So if you want to use the Inter Server hosting and then you want to learn how to install Inter Server, how to install WordPress on the Inter Server um, hosting, then you're in the right video. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. So the first thing you want to do is you want to buy a domain and a hosting on inter server all right i'm going to and if you haven't bought a domain and hosting already then i'm going to drop my affiliate link all right feel free to use my affiliate link i'm going to drop it in the description of this video so you can click through to uh, the website the inter server website in order to buy hosting and domain all right so so once you've purchased your hosting and domain, the next thing you want to do is you, you want to log into InterServer. All right, I'm going to log into my InterServer account right now. Okay, I have an InterServer account myself because it's the hosting I use for all of my blogs. Now you log into InterServer. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to click on, you want to click on your, you want to go to the cPanel. So you have to click on this web hosting, okay? You have to click on the domain you use for your web hosting. You click on this domain, for example, and it will take you to your dashboard, all right? It's going to take you to your inter server dashboard. Now, all you need to do is to click on login to cPanel, okay? Login to cPanel. Now, the method we are going to use to install WordPress is very, very simple. It's really simple to use, okay? It's very easy. All right now we are in in the C panel. What you have to do is scroll down. You have to scroll down a bit, and then you see WordPress. This this is WordPress. Click on it, and now we are going to install WordPress. All right. So you have to click on install now. Click on install now, and then this is going to be very easy. You have to select the you have to choose the most recent version of wordpress all right so this is the most recent version of wordpress at the moment and then you have to choose the installation url which is going to be your domain okay it's going to be your domain all right it's going to be your domain and then you can choose https what I use, what I use is this one. I use this last one here, just for Google rankings. Now you have to. The next you need to do is just go down a bit. Don't enter. Don't enter anything here. You don't need to enter anything here. Come down and then you, where you have site name is your blog name. It's your blog name. You can enter whatever you want to enter here. Um, let's say for example, I'm creating a site for pets. I could enter my my site name here. It could be anything. Pet Gorilla. This is for example. And then the site description is very easy. Just put anything you want to put here. Let's see all oh, everything about pet. And that is it. The next you want to do is you enter your username. You can hide this. Enter your username and then enter your password. Then admin email, you have to make sure you put in your email here, okay? You need to put in your email here, your Gmail address is preferable. And then once you're done, you can select any of this thing from here. You can select any of the thing. All right, let's say for example, I select this one. Then the next thing you want to do is you click on install. I'm not going to click on this because I already have a blog installed on my site. Okay, I have I have installed WordPress already. But just before you click on install, you should try to put your email here. You should put your email here, and then they'll be able to they'll be able to send you your your the WordPress login details that you just filled in right now. So that is it. It's really, really simple. And then once you've done this, you can go ahead to edit your WordPress site.
um, if you're having issues, if you want me to install, or uh, if you want me to install for you, I you can comment in the, and you can make a comment in the. If you have any question, actually, you can comment in the um, comment section. I'm going to reply you as soon as possible. Again, if you want me to do this for you, you could send. Uh, you could send a. You could, you could also drop an email. You can. You can um, actually. Or let me know via the comment section and then I will I'll reply you with my email so we can go ahead to discuss how to um, how I'm going to install the WordPress for you. All right. So, so this is it on how to install WordPress on InterServer. If you have any questions, don't forget to drop in the comment section. I'm going to reply you as soon as possible. You have a great time.